just finished reading a review. You know, you, you can always tell, well, I mean, 300 pages. It's exhausting, George. I'm going to mention, well, what do you mean? This is, this is kind of like reality podcasting. This is about the life of Jesse Steele. I mean, if you, if you know what Jesse's up to, Jesse's up to a lot of things. And it's just kind of fun to sort of get some gossip fodder about what his life is about, especially if you're not subscribing it from AsiaWithLove.net to find out what's going on. I, I don't I don't know. From Asia with Love.net. Well, actually, if you want to know the, the, the plan I have for From Asia with Love.net, eventually I'm going to start pulling down the posts. They're available to anyone that signs up, and I'm going to roll them out into ebooks. It could be a year or two later. It could be. Um, well, they're going to, I mean, the cheaper way is going to be to read them through the subscription. But, but my life. You know, I get on this podcast thing and, I, and I, I do format stuff. I mean, I do this this America news focused column and then I do this Asia news focused column and I do all this formatted stuff. And this is where I just get on the mic and spit it. And so you can, you know, I'll talk about my life. And maybe this is kind of like my therapy, but it's also my way of just keeping the world informed about whatever I'm doing. Uh, well, at least the world of my listeners, both of you. Um No, I, I, well, no, my, my buddy was interestingly telling me that, that, you know, that radio, this might be kind of a secret, but radio and broadcasting and TV shows and authors, anyone that's using mass media, that's where like you take a book, you take, you know, radio, TV, video, something, and you just. You, you broadcast something to just a lot of people. It's a, it's a kind of an interesting, massive, loose friendship type thing is what it is. It's not, it's not celebrity thing. That's it's, we're not talking movies and, and TV shows with actors and idols that we all just want to be like. It's, it's a friend relationship thing. And that's, that's how, I mean, that's what this is for me. This, this is, you know, there, there's people out there that'll read my stuff and they'd say, I like this. I like what Jesse does over at, at his website here where he does English, or I like what Jesse does with, with his photos over there. Or, I read some of his eBooks or whatever. And, and you get to, you get to know me and know what my daily life is kind of like. And so that's why I just kind of cut loose on this. And, and I'm kind of sort of trying to let you know what I'm up to and that I'm human. And uh, as, a, as a friend's dad always used to say, he takes a dump like everybody else. Well, don't we all? Um, this book I was reviewing, it's, it's interesting when, you know, someone's clearly, uh, you know, writing their first book, you know. Uh, you know, and you know, I said I wouldn't say you know as much. It's it's interesting though. Well, my buddy is visiting from Europe, and he's here with me in Asia right now, and he does manufacturing sales. And anyone, I mean, if right now, if you go to a radically different country than your culture and language normally is a part of. And you reach your hand out, you talk to people, and you just take daily steps to learn something and improve yourself in some way. You're going to become wired. Opportunities are going to come to you. I I met a a, a guy that was, he's a Westerner, and I I forget what country he was from, but he was in Singapore. Uh, He he could have been Canadian. I want to think uh, he might have been American, probably Californian. Oh, no, California likes to brag about how they're the world's third largest economy or something like that. But he uh, he went to Singapore and just got a little job on the radio and got a job as an actor. And, and uh, we sat next to each other on the flight and he just said, it, it happens. You just put yourself out there, you know, put yourself in a situation where you're unusual. Don't try to go to the place where you're normal. Go to the place where you're not normal and then you'll be valuable. I mean, you know, rocks are kind of useful in a diamond shop if you think about it. You know, bad rocks anyway, you know, or otherwise worthless rocks. So my buddy's over here and and he did that. And now he's in sales. You know, he's from a small European country full of very brilliant engineers that doesn't get as much credit as it should get. And 
he learned uh, English, of course, because Europeans learn English, and he learned Mandarin, and he kept sticking his, his hand out and saying hi to people, and lo and behold, he gets a job in sales. And he was asking me if if he should start writing articles, blog articles about what he thinks about business in Asia. And I told him two things. I said, one, you've got to be writing at least once a week, maybe once a month. But you've got to write. It doesn't have to be 10,000 hours, but there's a 10,000 hour principle there. You know, the first so many words that you write, and it's not a small number, it's a lot. They're no good. You've got to go through a lot of regular stuff before you ever become good at anything. And, and you know, that's, again, my life. I have all these things I do that are formatted and I just do them regularly to just do them. I was talking with my sister about this. She says, Jesse, what's your, you know, what's your, what are you doing with media and writing? Because she's a writer, you know, and I said, well, I'm doing this and doing that. She says, well, you, you, you know, maybe you could improve this. I said, I know, I know. And I love input from my sis. Or interestingly, we have similar talents uh, complimenting, not the same, but very similar. And I said, well, I said, the most important skill, sis, that I'm working on is being regular. I... Well, yeah, that, well, why do you think I drink coffee, George? Um, well, like I said, I take a dump like everybody else. Well, I, well, no, doctors are the ones that, that, that made the big deal out of it. Don't look at me. I, you've got to be regular. Are there, well, I'm serious. I mean, if you're not right, you will say, I mean, have you ever wondered, you know, those angry talk show guys on the TV, you know, uh, I don't want to say who they are. I- I'm going to say this. Um, O'Reilly kind of was one of them. He was on the more extreme end, but not the most. Limbaugh is not one of them. Label him how you want. He's not the angry blamer mode guy. And that's, that's one of the reasons he makes lots of money. I wonder if those guys that are angry and yelling are just constipated. Because if, if I don't uh, <clears throat> go before turning on the podcast, which I get... Well, seriously, have you ever woken up and you're angry at people and then you go and then you're not angry at people anymore? Well, h- how many people are medicated for anger issues when they just need to be regular? So anyhow, so I write regularly to be regular. And, and so I told, that's what I told my buddy. I said, if you're not going to write regularly, then give it up. You've, you've got to write regularly. And, and, and I'm, I'm here reviewing this guy's book and I can tell that it's his first write. And so it's exhausting and it's taking a lot of time and I don't get any money for it, but you know, it's, he's, he's a Christian and you know, I'm going to give him some strong ideas and I'm going to give him some strong critique and we need that. That's, that's my friendship gift to the world. I have stuff like that, that I, I do to people. Uh, I, I give people, uh, who need good advice, free advice when they ask for it at certain specific times. It's very strategic, very strategic. I don't do it often. Normally I charge at least $50 an hour. Okay. The second thing I, I told my buddy, uh, who wanted his, his website, uh, Peter, if, if you don't know, um, I said, if you're going to write, you've got to be willing to tell people the stuff they don't want to hear. If, if you're going to tell everybody, oh, I don't want to make you angry. I don't want to tell you something you don't want to hear. I don't want to, you know, if, if you're going to do that and tell everybody they're right all the time, you're, you're not useful. We've got, to, we've got to get critique and hear the stuff that we don't want to hear. You know, you, you've got to, you look in the mirror to find the zits, you know. You, you, look, you, you look in the mirror, you smile, big toothy smile in the mirror to see if there's any food in your teeth. You, know, you, you want to know about problems early on so you can get rid of them. And that's, if you don't do that, you know, <sighs> I should get to the point. Build patiently. Productive people naturally feel like they have more projects than they can ever accomplish. Everyone feels this way at some point, that life is just not long enough. Actually, that's a feeling of youth and ambition. Part of maturity is wanting to accomplish things in the small time life allows. Overcommitting and feeling the pressure of our own decades-long to-do lists isn't the most mature feeling, however. It's just another step in the process of growing up. Learn early on to let go of the lists you make, to wait, work, and love all at the same time. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com.